z-score or standard score and empirical rule. In this video, we will learn about z-score and empirical rule. A z-score, also known as a standard score, tells you the number of standard deviations a particular data value is above or below its arithmetic mean. Suppose a data set consists of n values x1, x2, x3, xj, up to xn with mean x bar and standard deviation s. Then the standard score of the jth value in the data set is obtained by zj is equal to xj minus x bar by s. Remember, values in the data set above the arithmetic mean have positive standard scores, while values below the arithmetic mean have negative standard scores. This means that a standard score of 2 indicates that the value in the data set exceeds the arithmetic mean by 2 times the standard deviation. Now, let us look at what empirical rule is. To put it simply, empirical rule tells us how much of the data lies within the 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations. Take a look at this bell-shaped curve, that is, frequency curves which are symmetric and moderately peaked. In other words, neither flat nor too peaked. The empirical rule says that about 65% of the data have z-scores between minus 1 and plus 1, about 95% of the data have z-scores between minus 2 and plus 2, and about 99.7% of the data have z-scores between minus 3 and plus 3. However, when z-scores lie outside the range, minus 3, 3, there is a strong possibility of an outlier. But you cannot consider all large deviations from the mean as outliers. For example, if there is an unusually large or small value of demand of a product observed in some period, it can be due to a transition from one phase to another in the product's life cycle. It becomes important to understand the change in the demand pattern to plan company operations.